video, we are going to see the application of nodal analysis technique to solve a problem. So let's take a simple problem. In a problem, I am considering two current sources of 2 ampere and 4 ampere and resistances are 2 ohm, 4 ohm, this is also 4 ohm and let's take this as 2 ohm. The objective is to find out voltages of nodes A and B. So we have to find out VA and VB using nodal analysis. So let's solve a problem. Now first step to solve a problem using nodal analysis is to identify how many nodes are there. So let's identify nodes present in a circuit. So node is a point where more than two branches are connected. So one, two, three branches are connected at this point. So node A, node B, one, two, three branches are connected together. So this is the second node B. Now here I don't have any element present between these two points. So these two points are same. So I can consider this is a one point and I will consider this point as a reference meaning it will have the voltage zero. So I will consider this point as a reference having a zero volt. So in all I am having three nodes out of that one I have taken as a reference. So let's apply KCL to other two nodes. This is a current source given and the direction of current is upward. So for this node, it is incoming. Remaining two branches, I mark random current direction. Again for node B, this current is incoming because it is given and I am considering the direction of current flowing through 4 ohm like this and for 2 ohm, I consider direction downward. So after this step, you have to make sure that each and every branch is having current direction. Let's apply KCL at node A. 2 ampere is the incoming current. So I am writing all incoming currents together equal to 2 outgoing currents. So current which is flowing through this branch is from A to B. So I will write the equation VA minus VB divided by resistance of this branch 4 plus this is also outgoing current starting from A and ending on a reference. So the equation is VA minus 0 divided by 4. So I will rearrange the terms properly meaning I will club all VA terms together. So VA coefficient is 1 by 4 and one more 1 by 4 term will be there. VB only one coefficient I will have and that is minus 1 by 4 equal to constant which is 2. So this will be equation number 1. Similar way we can apply KCL at node B. At node B I am having two incoming currents. One is 4 ampere and another is this current flowing through this 4 ohm. So I will write the equation for this current which I have already written. So it will become VA minus VB divided by 4 
फोर एम्पियर करंट सोर्स इज गिवन सो सिंपली इट विल बी प्लस फोर इक्वल टू आउट गोइंग करंट स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम अ बी नोड एंड एंडिंग ऑन अ रेफरेंस तो बी बी माइनस जीरो डिवाइडेड बाई टू लेट सिंप्लीफाई दिस इक्वेशन सो आई विल हैव वी ए वन बाय फोर इज अ कोफिशियंट ऑफ बी ए वी बी I will have coefficients minus one by four and minus one by two equal to constant. That will be minus four. This will be equation number two. Now I can solve equation one and two. So by solving equations. One and two, I will get answer. V A equal to eight volt, and V B also equal to eight volt. So V A and V B are nothing but potentials of node A and node B. So here we have taken a numerical having two current sources. and two nodes and by using nodal analysis which is application of kcl we got node voltages of node a and node b in subsequent videos we will solve more numericals to see this concept once again thank you